I've been meaning to, to do this video for about two weeks and I keep getting asked the same questions and I'm hearing a lot of people talk about a potential crash or a potential drop and a huge drop in housing prices and depreciation. So I thought I really need to get this video out. It's a little bit longer than most of the videos I do, but it has a lot of really valuable information that can be applied to our market right here in Phoenix. So the market is predicted to change, but what does that mean? Does that mean we need to press the panic button? Absolutely not. We have been experiencing one of the largest periods of economic growth in the U.S. has ever seen. It has to slow down at some point. The Federal Reserve has started to increase interest rates to try and cool off a market, the market so it doesn't overheat too much. But there's a lot of talk about a recession out there. So let's start with the definition of a recession. A recession is a period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced, generally identified by a fall in GDP for two consecutive quarters. According to the latest research, the bulk of economists predict a recession might begin in 2020. Just because we're heading into a recession does not automatically mean that a housing crisis will follow. The most likely triggers for a recession right now in our given economy are monetary policy, trade policy, and a stock market correction. And coming in way down at number nine is a housing market crisis. The national appreciation level is predicted to go from 5.2% this year down to 4.2% next year and 3.1% in 2020. Experts are not predicting depreciation, just a slower rate of appreciation. It's predicted that home sale volume and home sale prices will weather this particular storm. In fact, the last six recessions, we have only seen home, depreci home values depreciate one time. It just happens to be the last time. So it's very fresh in our mind. Two major factors contributed to that particular crisis, very loose mortgage underwriting standards and a huge supply of homes on the market. You can see from this graph that mortgage underwriting is still very strict. The red line indicates historical mortgage underwriting standards and you can see where we are today. There are huge parts of the population that are still unable to get a mortgage. Now on to rising interest rates. I'm sure you are like most who think that if interest rates rise, home prices will go down. Not so, I hate to spread the bad news, but every time rates have increased by one full percentage point, home prices have continued to rise also. There are two more things specific to Phoenix, building permits and housing affordability. New homes and building permits. Okay, so back in 2008, new homes were, new home builders were supplying the market with tons of new homes to take up all these easy to get mortgages. In 2008, in Maricopa County, we issued over 65,000 single family home permits. 10 years later, it's anticipated that Maricopa County will only issue 22,000 single family home permits this year. There is still a huge demand for housing. Those 22,000 new homes cannot begin to fulfill the huge demand for housing as we see companies continue to relocate to the valley and millennials who have been later to enter the housing market than previous generations are jumping in with both feet. Now for housing affordability. In the Metro Phoenix area, our median home price is currently $263,000. Now for comparison, San Francisco Bay's median home price is $1.2 million. Seattle comes in at $755,000, LA at 628, Denver at 529, and even Salt Lake City is higher at 348,000 market. The $40,000 those markets with a bit more of inflated home prices will probably begin to see corrections before we do. So what does this mean for you? As a seller, the value of your home is still going to rise, but you cannot bury your head and not notice the competition. Home values are still a hyper-local number. How does your home stack up with the neighbors? Are you seeing a lot of homes in your area being remodeled or built new? 
If you're not updating and upgrading, you can't expect to get the highest price on the block. There are still buyers for your home, but they are not going to pay those new home prices. So what does it mean for buyers? Yes, buyers, interest rates are going to continue to rise, but they are still historically low. And so if you think you're gonna wait till the interest rate is pushes the prices down, you're gonna be waiting for a while because we, as I showed you earlier, interest rates do not necessarily have a negative effect on home values. So it's time to just go ahead and do it while you can. If you're thinking about buying or selling, reach out to a realtor who understands both the macro concerns as well as the micro concerns of the housing market. It is just as important to know what is going on on a national level as well as right in your backyard. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me or comment below. There are no dumb questions and you know if you're thinking it, someone else is too. So, or if you want, just give me a call, 602-463-3359. If you have a friend who might be thinking about buying or selling, please share this video with them. Hillary Gurley, Russ Lane Sotheby's International Realty.